Hello, in the past two days we have been continuing to see very large earthquake activity across the globe. Today we'll mainly be checking out those larger events. In the past two days we have seen some interesting activity across the board. Starting over here in the central United States, there was a magnitude 3.0. Now this was yesterday at 1843. Looking at the event page, there was 18 Digifeeler reports for this magnitude 3 near Louisiana. This is of course a bit of a rare earthquake. We usually do not see earthquakes down here. Also at a depth of 5 kilometers. Coming up here near Ridgely, Tennessee, we continue to see very small earthquake activity. Coming up here near Yellowstone or just south of Yellowstone near Great Salt Lake, there was a magnitude 3.6 on the 12th. Now this had 315 Did You Feel It reports. If we look at the shake map solution, it looks like an MMI of 1.5 almost went all the way across Great Salt Lake. And then in the past hour, we did see a magnitude 3.1 near the geysers. Making our way up to Alaska here, there are these four earthquakes and they are spaced out in this uh, interesting pattern. Coming over here to Japan, I did see a deep magnitude 6.1 at 357 kilometers. This was just today at 0808 UTC and it struck near Toba, Japan or off coast. Coming south of Japan near New Zealand and Tonga or Fiji. On the 14th or today just a couple hours ago there was a magnitude 6.1 down there near Fiji. It also had a very deep 627 kilometer depth. Just north of that quake or on the 12th there was another magnitude 7 near Fiji. This also had a depth of 587 kilometers. Traveling a bit north, looks like there was a magnitude 5.0 near Papua New Guinea. This was at 0300 today. Looking at other quakes over here in the West Pacific, it looks like there are just a couple of magnitude 5s spread about. Now, forecasting wise, uh, it is very likely we could see a very strong or large earthquake in the next couple of days near Papua New Guinea, or I'm also thinking maybe a bit uh, west into Indonesia, but we'll see. Now, a quick look over here near the Rejakins Ridge. We continue to see uh, about normal activity for that region for the past couple of days. Now, coming down to Central America and Guatemala, they had a significant magnitude 5.8 on the 12th. Coming over the event page, there was 163 Did You Feel It reports. It also had a, a bit of a deeper depth at 100 kilometers. There was also no tectonic summary. Coming down here into Southern America near Chile, or just off the coast near Lapu, Chile. There was a magnitude 6.2 yesterday at 0224 UTC. It had 18 kilometer depth. Looking at DigiField reports, there was 141 responses and there was no tectonic summary. Taking a look at the National Hurricane Center they surprisingly are not tracking any systems. Coming over here to Wendy, it looks like JMA is tracking a tropical depression. This is tropical depression Yemeniko. And it looks like it is going to travel north and just kind of go through empty ocean. Finally, looking at the solar flare data. We can see in the past three days and even seven days, especially this section right here, we have had many, many very small C-class flares, just kind of a, a very rapid drum beat, just tap, 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 tap. We can see actually today, a couple hours ago, there was almost an M-class flare. Looks like that was about a C8 or a C9. Thank you for checking out today's video, and stay tuned for the next one.